get started now. Hope everyone here has a good Christmas, right? Have a good Christmas. Many times people are wondering about Christmas life. You know, when you drive at night and see a beautiful light, sometimes the neighbors can put in the light because he who has the best Christmas light. <laughs> Always I've seen that happen. And it was funny, on my way to my hometown, I decided to stop at nighttime, go see park in <coughs> Chicka Shay. Called Festival of Life. It's been a long time since I've been there. So I decided to go in. It has changed. More action, more cars or traffic. Wow. So I decided to stop. Stop, got out, and walked. <coughs> walk wow. What one problem? One part did not their life not working. I wonder why. So look about one part. <clears throat> so this lesson I'm going to be teaching today is saying Jesus is the light of the world. Okay? See that, right? Okay. There's Jesus. Okay. Which do you choose? The dark or Jesus? Light, Jesus. <coughs> There's a very interesting story. Look in the Bible and I'll tell it. Very interesting. Okay. What is the problem with the word light? Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never live in the darkness. They will have the light that gives light. Wow. Pharisee were very upset because Jesus says he himself is like the light. But the Pharisee, darkness. You know what happened? When the Pharisees saw Jesus, they instantly became jealous. So they decide to do something. They wanted to. They are judged by this proof that the light had already came into the world, but they did not want light. They wanted darkness because they were doing evil things. Everyone who does evil hates the light. They will not come to the light. The light will show all the bad things they have done. It's very interesting. You know, the most scary movie I've seen since I was a kid, like vampires, you know they, they hate sunlight. What happens if they see sun? What happens? Or a little girl or a little boy scared of the darkness. And here's Boogeyman. They have not not light right there. Protect protect them. Interesting. Okay. What kind of evil thing is the Bible talking about? Gossip? Bad friend, fighting, hurting others, many three important.
important thing that we look at. Gossip. Bad friends and fighting. Next. Gossiping. You know, gossip is like a fire. Gossip can hurt someone. Sometimes it can be good. Sometimes it can be bad. If you want to talk good gossip, use the happy part. Don't be mean. Sometimes we hear rumors going to that situation. Don't get involved. Because why? You like to be like this. Can't see life. It's not working. The bad gossip. Bad friends. Many times today's world, the word friend started from where? Teens. Young people. Most of the time, I've seen many young people would join in in a bad situation. Gangs. Drugs, alcohol, <coughs> really it's important. If you have friends, make sure that they are good friends. Do not do anything bad. If they ask you to join with them to go to a club and party and have fun, they would Really good friend? No. Most of the time, your friends can cause you to be involved in trouble with what? Parents? Other Christian friends? Especially the law. The police officers. Many times, I've seen all my high school friends I would call and I would call, and later I find out they're in jail or they're frustrating with the family. That's why. <coughs> they say they did bad things. To avoid your bad friends. Fighting. This is one of the worst. remember many times <coughs> not just death but also hearing people in fight and we can't hurt others. When we have to try to be patient sometimes we fight the good fight and we still are. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes we win. Next. Picture. See the Pharisees and the woman? The woman herself, the prostitute. The Pharisees wanted to test Jesus. They caught her. We saw what she had done. Next. Early in the morning, he went back to the temple area. The people all came to him, and he sat, and he talked. The teachers of the law and Pharisees brought a woman. They have already caught her in a bed, the man who is not her husband. They forced her to stand in front of the people. They said, Jesus, teacher. This woman is already caught in the act of adultery, meaning the 
law of Moses command us to stone to death any woman. What do you say we do? They were ready. They were testing Jesus. They wanted to catch him saying something wrong. But they could have charged against him. But what did Jesus do? Stood down, started on the ground with his finger. He knew the Pharisees was testing him. He didn't say nothing, but he wrote on the ground. What did Jesus do when the Pharisees won? Yet sin throw stone this woman. All Pharisees they were stuck. From the eldest to the youngest. Picked up. morning or always every Monday I want to work I want to work and I give I'll call my boss let him know I'm sick sick can you dismiss me okay fine I'll do it. some jobs require what doctor sorted Brothers and sisters. 
sister in Christ come to church every Sunday, every Wednesday. Why? <coughs> Are they scared to face the light and see what God can do for them? I see many of you here today. That's wonderful. Last Sunday, I was not here because I was on vacation with my family. And it was a number 19, understandable, because most people were on holiday. They wanted to see the family, friends, understandable. But we still have to follow God's law. Come to church every Sunday. Did I go to church Sunday? Yes. I went to church. I did not forget God. I wanted to follow God. Okay. Little girl. Scared. For we understand as parents, grandparents, brothers, and sisters, have a little child that's scared. But mama, daddy, I'm scared. What do they do? So they feel better. Without Jesus, without Him, we all would be scared. We all. Hurry, where? I'm scared. Help me. What do I do? Sin is coming. What do I do? Help me. Recently we took the Lord's Supper. Jesus was crucified on the cross. Jesus was like the light pole. You know, when you have a bad light off, what do I do? Throw it away, bad light, put a new one off. It will better coat. We are like bad light bulbs because God hates sin, but He loves sinners. Why? Because He wants us to go home. He wants us to be like Jesus. So he asked Jesus to go to earth and die for my children. So, okay. He knew that he would die. Was he scared? Yes. He was very, very scared. Because human nature he will feel the pain. Most of the time, people say, Jesus should not be scared. He himself is strong. He called 10,000 angels to come and destroy all the people, all the world. But he suffered for us. He died for us. Crucified on the cross. The Roman cross on the ground. He cried, cried out, the pain. He knew what will happen to him. Most people don't want to see that awful picture of Jesus dying. But we have to understand Jesus himself in life. He took all of our sin. But the news. <coughs> he rose three days later. He came to life. Defeated evil. Like I said, girls scared, dark, 
about Jesus. Don't be scared of the dark. Be scared of the things you want to be scared of. Okay. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in the dark, but will have a life of light. I will never leave you or forget you. If we follow him, he will never leave us. Right now, Jesus is with us right now. Whether we're at home, work, school, church, traveling, still with us. Where? Where? Jesus do with the woman that did the act of adultery? Find out. When they heard this, they began to leave one by one. Older men first, then the others. Jesus left alone with the woman standing there in front of him. He looked up again, said to her, Where do they all go? Did anyone judge you guilty? The woman said, No, sir. She said, No one, sir. Respected him. Then Jesus said, I don't judge you either. You can go now, but don't sin again. Can you imagine? If this is Jesus, then it comes. Can't see. Still light. Still light. See? Still light. But you can't see. Jesus said, Don't sin again. Sometimes. We make big mistakes. Sometimes we forgot that we've sinned. God, sorry that I sinned against you again. Please forgive me. I'm innocent and I'm guilty of sin. But still, thank you for your son, Jesus, died on the cross. this. Jesus said, I am the life of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. If you're walking in darkness, you need help. You need to be able to see the light. We, as brothers and sisters, don't judge what a person does. We only judge what a person has inside of the heart. I was raised that way. I'll see a person who looks mean. coffee shop. Long line. Don't have no patience. 
worker says, just give me a few minutes, I can make your fresh coffee for you, okay? Great, okay, fine. Sit down. But the man, classes. Word, word. One word the woman said, I want to be in a relationship with pain. A father lost a job and is in a coffee shop with his son. He was scared. That flash gave him a light. He was scared. He left the coffee for the man. And on the word said, he needs a hug. He was scared. He didn't know what to do. He wanted to take the glasses off. But, put it back on, he saw a little boy. He said, he just needs a friend, someone to cheer him up. Hey. walk in the dark? You want to walk in the dark? Here. Have that? You can walk in the dark. You want to walk in the light? Oh. You need oh. Jesus. You need him in your life. If you have not yet became a Christian, Need to have Jesus in your life it means you're still in the dark. Need to come. If you already became a Christian, wonderful. But if you sin or you feel like you're walking back in the dark, then come and repent. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid if you have to repent. Because repent is like 